his growth painful in any respect at this point mentally it is like total transformation yes sometimes it is painful by painful i mean uncomfortable because the old is uh, being dropped but uh, the mind has a tendency to cling to the old it has attachments and when these attachments are broken it is a little bit uncomfortable but uh, you will get used to it once it is broken it is like the thorn that is removed from the hand so while removing it there can be a little bit of pain but once it is removed completely that is very very blissful rahul is asking why does a person make the same mistakes again even when the person knows that this activity is not helping survival there can be many reason the first reason that comes in my mind is uh, total lack of awareness there is no awareness at all of what is going on and the second reason is obvious stupidity if a person makes one mistake it is understood that it was a mistake it happened twice then we call it accident okay coincident but when it is knowingly done then it is called stupidity monica is asking the experiencer witnesses the suffering but how will suffering end the realization that i am not the one who suffers ends the suffering and the suffering itself is an illusion that makes it that realization makes it as good as as not existing so i never suffer this creature seems to suffer but that is only a play that is an illusion it not only suffers it also enjoys and that happiness is also illusion so you need to realize that there is no suffering so there is no need to end it or it will never end because it never started you cannot end something which has not started so it is not really present however in day to day life the suffering is present and then normal everyday solutions should be used to minimize it as long as there is an attachment to the world to the body to the pain to the pleasure there will be suffering so complete removal of the attachment frees this creature from this kind of experience the dual experience however that is very boring in my opinion so a good way is to simply accept that in the duality in this illusion there will be both pain and pleasure there will be both happiness and suffering i am unaffected by the happiness i am unaffected by the suffering i am the screen on which this movie this drama is being played and there has to be all the colors all the emotions in the movie because this is a complete movie whole and complete so this very beautiful understanding will make you peaceful instead of becoming active instead of struggling to end the suffering which is itself a suffering isn't it trying to put off a fire that is burning on the screen there is no real fire there is only picture of fire on the screen now it does not matter how much water you throw on it, it it will keep burning it is not real that must be realized and stop throwing water on it enjoy the movie you are the enjoyer of the movie you are the blissful background on which all the illusory events are happening those who have this knowledge they accept happiness and suffering equally they do not differentiate between the two if you are the actor a tragic role is as good as a comedy role there is no difference it's all fake so remain established in the knowledge and the knowledge will end the suffering vanita is asking names and forms are always the same and the illusion can be logically true no it is not true and they are always changing like many of the master says that both the attachment and aversion cause suffering if there is attachment to something some pleasure some kind of happiness it is bound to cause suffering but if there is aversion from suffering aversion from something that will also cause suffering so what actually ends the suffering is the acceptance that it will be like this and that it will also change it is impermanent happiness is impermanent suffering is impermanent so there is no point in trying to change 
because there is no doer it happens automatically those who are in awareness will never suffer those who lose sight of all this knowledge which is given to you by the grace if you remember this knowledge you will never ask such questions again raja is asking people around in family and surrounding observe changes in my behavior when they confront i have no answer my response seem to be very superficial to them any guidance always respond in a worldly manner to all such questions there is no need to tell them anything spiritual and uh, they will feel comfortable as soon as you start telling that i am detached i am now a monk i am now a seeker and there is a guru and there is ashram and they will be disturbed then they will become an obstacle the response should be worldly and uh, nobody should know about your spiritual practices it is your personal affair this especially when the family is not very spiritual when they are total total totally ignorant and they do not understand what you are doing in this case this is the recommended solution if the family can understand what you are doing if they are also spiritual if they also have a path or something then you can tell what you are doing and then they there won't be any problem in that family okay vinay has a question i have one worldly question please help i have one month of one month old daughter and i listened in one of the podcast of first six months being important for child causal body gets attached to the physical body in this duration as a seeker is there anything i can do so we can we as a family can evolve what can you do <laughs> i think in the natural mechanism of uh, attachment of the causal body to the physical will happen anyway even if you do something if if you don't do anything it will happen now it, at this time the causal body is least worried about uh, knowledge or evolution uh, that's not its priority isn't it the memory bridge is forming and uh, that is its priority is it getting the control of the body or not that is the priority there is competition from other causal bodies so uh, what can you do you see take care of the child have good intentions pray and uh, bring the child into satsang let's see what happens and uh, i'll tell you one thing you have no control at all on your family they will all go their own way you don't have control over one process in the mind which you call as my mind you want to control all these minds which you call my family isn't that ignorance what can you do about the child you know don't indoctrinate the child don't put anything false in there which um, can be harmful in the future but there is no guarantee at all try to look at the tendency you know 6 months is very very young actually in 2 or 3 years you will be able to get a hint of the tendencies of the child look for the spiritual tendencies and then you can plan ahead you will need to complete the education and so on so escape from that survival is the first priority not the spiritual evolution for a child after 35 years of age we worry about the evolution <laughs> spiritual evolution is by the time the the root and all these layers are well formed now now the layer of intellect is can be awakened by the grace of the guru field only nothing can awaken it so vinay is thinking too much just be normal bring up that your child normally accept don't put anything harmful in that mind don't put anything harmful in the body i think you don't need to be told that you already know this the indoctrination is the poison we can do some effort to speed up the evolution by properly checking the tendencies of the child and at the right time put the child on a spiritual path according to the tendencies of the child i am not saying you push them into path of knowledge no we should not we never push people into path of knowledge we look at the tendencies is the child ready or not yes you can always put some seeds there look this is knowledge this is ignorance no guarantee that they will get it although i have seen some miracles 
children in the in the homes of people who are doing this program they are progressing much faster than the their parents amazing isn't it but uh, yes there is no guarantee once they grow up you know once they become two or three years old just let me know about their tendencies and we'll think about it